on a purchase. We've just got back from Shetland, so we're all a bit jaded. While we're away, we, we had an email from Drifter, who make all sorts of stuff, actually, but kind of bags for existing tents and stuff. And I wanted a bag so you could put all of this Oz Tent RV5 stuff in one bag. And Drifter make those bags. Unfortunately, they've been out of stock since we bought the RV. Um, no, they're all, of them, oh. they're all of them are out of stock. Um, and while we were away in Shetland, we got an email saying it's now back in stock. Do you want to order it? So we ordered it, and it actually turned up from Australia before we got back from Shetland. So go FedEx. So we're just going to show you kind of what we get. So in the RV5, which is the biggest of the RVs that they do, the Oz tents, it's a bit of a tight squeeze. <coughs> As you can see, there's like there's, there's no giving here. You certainly couldn't put the side panels and the front panel in this bag. There's just no way you do it. Um, so it is a bit of a tight squeeze, um, especially if it's a bit wet. Hey, and it, it's like finger slippy and trying to drag it like and stuff. So we've already cleaned it. Haven't we? We've already cleaned it. Yeah, already washed it off. Um, so we've got the uh, this RV. So I'm going to grab this out for the moment. <coughs> As you can see, done. this bag. Better, but from here you can see the bag it opens down to about halfway down the actual bag itself so it's a pull open bag and you've got to try and get it in there and then fill this open the drift bag is a bit different than you'll see so i'm just going to grab this out here for the moment our surplus to requirements i'll leave it that way for a minute all right okay so this is the yours tent uh, is clean, but it's not perfect. So, I'm actually going to put it up and show you what it looks like. Familiarise yourself with it again. So, Some levers inside. If you want to look at what these, these tents look like, go onto the Oz Tent um, website. The videos on YouTube's tons of them, rather than me showing you all that at the moment. This really is just about the drift bag. So, um, <coughs> I'm going to get it nice and straight. The doors do need to stay open. I can't which side you actually have to do first. Fold in. Left side first and then the right. A, then B, or B, then A. I can't remember. Fold in what you did. Make sure you fold the arms in the right way. A then B. <coughs> so we need to actually put the fabric in first. I think we have it. Yeah, we do. strapped actually with this oops I think I packed it into one of the bags so that is essentially what you do nice and simple it's really really easy to put away so that is that so this is where this bag is different so this is the drifter bag it's massive yeah it is bigger so that's how they do that's come with a new strap is that the one that goes right around the tent you reckon Then, in this drifter bag, drifter. Drifter. Crystal, like a crystal decent clips. It looks like a decent material. It's it's like a bit wax. It's like a canvas, yeah. yeah. And this opens up completely. Show that way for me. This opens up completely flat, almost, well, almost completely flat. So you can actually lay the tent in here with the poles and then zip it back in. It's actually slightly longer as well. 
So we left the end of that tent for me. Yeah. We'll lay this into the top of the fits. There we go. Like that. There are different colours you can get. You can get like a camo colour. You can get black. But we thought it'd be nice to get one that matches the actual tennis. It always looks the exact same. So, loads more room. You can already see it's loads more room. But would, so, will it fat, fit the other things? We should be able to put those other things in as well. So, we're going to have a quick look and see if we can do that. And then we'll do a bit more of a close up on the actual zip itself. This is all quite clever with weather sealing as well. The only downside with this, obviously, is when you put it all together, oh, it weighs quite a bit. Because this is about. It didn't say anything. Right. Huh. So let's get this over. Let's see if we can close it with stuff in. Oh, it should be. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll do those. We can go after them. Which is a weather seal zip as well, I don't know if you can probably see that from there, I don't know. Nice. A little close up. But as you close the zip, put pressure on it, it closes the zip up. Are we supposed to, to tighten this up? Hold this down, like that. Yeah, so, I tightened the... Uh, uh, yeah, you can tighten that up, doesn't it? Be particularly tight. Like that. And then... We've got a little Velcro strap underneath, I think it's Velcro. Yeah, it's Velcro. Get that off, like that. And then that. I might get this away as well, so when it's on the car, it does flap around. Flay around. <coughs> so yeah, that is the drifter bag for the Oz tent. RV5. RV5. So, you see by like the zips. It's a full weather seal zips. So it's only when you actually go to unzip them, it actually opens up. So these are really, really good. These are decent bags. This is thick canvas that they use. The straps are really good. The webbing is good. Two decent handles. Um, certainly this is going to be... It's got to be, hang on. 30 kilos, maybe? I would imagine. Yeah. But it's one bag. That'll go on the roof rack. So, yeah. So that's the uh, Drifter Oz 10 RV5 bag. Um, Brett from Drifter in Australia. And we give it a big thumbs up. Big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.